All right, Corando Ultimate. Just going to run through some of the uh, main switches and controls for you. Uh, before we go that far, looking at our key, we have lock, unlock, and then the panic alarm, which I'll show you in a second. We press that button there to get the key out. And then it's press the unlock button and you're in. Looking at your, your door panel here, you've got your button at the front, which will fold in and out your wing mirrors. The switch above that to move the glass in the right hand door mirror, you turn it to the right and use it as a joystick. Back to the center and again to the left for the passenger side one. Front windows, rear windows, window lock, door lock. So when you get over 20 mile an hour, that uh, locks automatically to let anybody in or out. You press that one. Looking down at your driver's seat here, we've got forward and backwards. We've also got lift, and then we've got recline for the driver's seat. While we're down at this level, we've got our bonnet release catch and our fuel release catch, which is on the passenger side. And there's an indicator on the dashboard to show you about that. Our button's in front of your driver's knee. You've got your headlight leveling, your rear fog light, your electronic stability control, heated steering wheel, very important days like today, and your front parking sensor. So if you're driving along in traffic and your, your parking sensors keep beeping, you can switch them off. And then you've got your lock button for your 4x4 system, should you feel the need to press it. Now, we'll just have a quick demonstration. So we put the key in, foot on the brake, turn the key and let it all light up. And then twist it and you're away. Okay. Now, turn it off again. But if we just turn it so the lights are on and we press and hold the panic alarm key, and that will set all the alarms off. So we'll clear that by pressing the lock button and unlock. But that's, should you feel in any sort of danger at all, then uh, you can alert people to that. And we'll move on to the steering wheel, what have you now. So in behind the steering wheel, let's start the car up. In behind the steering wheel here, we've got our windscreen wipers, so we've got drop down to intermittent and when we're on intermittent we can move this wheel here with the different settings if we line it up with auto then it'll be rain sensing wipers we've got down again for normal speed wipers and down again for double speed wipers and then your rear wipers are on the end and then you can pull towards you to wash your screen or press a button on the end to do that as well Okay, in front of there we've got our cruise control, so we just press the on button, the little green light down here, has said ready, so we get up to speed, we press that light and then we nudge that one up and we're now in cruise control and it will say cruise on or auto cruise will be eliminated, illuminated even, and then you go up one mile an hour or down one mile an hour with each nudge of that to switch it off, go on or off obviously, or you hit the foot brake. And should you want to get back into the cruise control, you just press the zoom but resume button and it will go straight back again. Pretty straightforward. Now your lights over here, you've got automatic lights, side lights, and, and your dip beam. Full beam away from you, flash towards you, and then your front fog light is on there. Okay. Behind that, you have the little lever here which means we can drop the steering up and down and in and out as well and then just lock that back up again this side we've got a volume for our stereo so we've got volume on there and mute we've also got the volume on there and mute if you want to okay it's 
we've also got seek so we can nudge up and I don't know if you'll see that as we press the seek button it goes through the preset stations that you put in there and then you've got your Bluetooth answering system on there as well okay so that's that's your steering wheel taken care of underneath your stereo which we'll do in a second you've got your button to heat your windscreen wipers on the front end you've got your button to demist your rear windscreen then you've got a trip reset button and I'll try and turn the camera a little bit your trip reset button here will adjust what goes on in that screen in the center of your dials so at the moment it tells you it's in park it tells you the temperature and it tells you what the mileage is and then you've got your fuel going up the right hand side and your engine temperature going up the left. I press the trip reset button once now, it gives you a trip A, and if you hold that trip button in, it will reset to zero. You've got a trip B. Um, also up there, you've got your petrol pump showing you which side the refiller is in there. I press that trip again, it tells you there's 152 miles of fuel in the car. Press it again, it tells you your average MPG, which I'll reset for you. And you've also got your instant MPG with your next one. And then you've got front tire pressures and rear tire pressures, and both of those will show up when you're actually driving along. So that's all done from that reset button. Obviously there you've got your, your hazards. So below that, we've got our heating system. So your temperature control is done on the outside of that one. Your fan control, on the outside of that one, we've got your aircon in the centre, we've got an auto button that side which is going to get you up to that temperature as quickly as possible. You've got your button for when you want to demist your front screen so it'll automatically go to aircon. You've got recycled air or straight in air and then your mode will change the direction of the airflow every time you press it. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. HDMI and USB point along with a power point down there. Another power point in front of the gear stick. The gear stick, beside your gear stick, we've got EWP. So if I press that button, you'll see that oh, the windscreen wipe at the same time. The green light has come on saying power. It's now gone to winter. And when I take it off, it's, it's E for eco. That doesn't show on there. So what that does is that, that changes the way that the gearbox performs, basically holds it in gear if you want to be uh, a bit more sporty or softens it if you go to winter. So you, you try to reduce your, your uh, chances of wheel spin or anything like that. Uh, the shift release lock button in front of that is that if you switch the car off and you've actually put it in drive, you're not going to be able to move the gear stick forward. You press that button down and that will release the pin which means you can maneuver the gear stick back into park and then to move the gear stick you put your foot on the brake just pull it straight back to drive so we've got D showing up there I'm now going to move it across to manual we've now changed to the number one up there and we change gear in manual by pushing that little button forward so I've now changed to second gear there that it'll only let me go first and second while we're parked up 